Hello, this is Diane Tynatalist, and this is a Saturday night in Aspen, Colorado. And this is at the um, the major hotel, uh, probably the largest hotel, and it is the oldest hotel. And as you can see, it is totally child-free and people-free. And one of the most remarkable things about um, this spa hotel hot tubs there's two hot tubs and swimming pool is that it's open 24 hours I don't recall any place in the entire world especially the United States where you can swim in a heated pool outdoors 24-7 now that's remarkable and you know <laughs> the the really good thing about you know being able to swim at night like really late well it's only let me see what time it is it's 11 but the really good thing about you know having 24 7 is you can avoid so many people you can avoid almost all families all children and that's what really disappoints me when, when I do travel and and go to hotels is because there you know there's usually a 9 or 10 o'clock p.m. limit on on the ho on the hotel swimming pool or you know the the wet spa area and you know, families usually take over swimming pools and hot tubs and they become loud and they splash water or they'll bring inflatables and, you know, they just disturb the peace and um, they just create a cheap environment. And, you know, it doesn't yield itself to adult environments. And, you know, the last time I was in Vegas, I saw no, I contacted multiple hotels and there was no hotel that I am aware of on the strip that has an all adult swimming pool um, or all adult hotel, which is really a shame because the only places I've seen all, um, all adult all adult and child free hotels has been in Mexico, particularly Cancun. There were some in the Dominican Republic also, um, and and I, when I stayed when I stayed in the DR, it was an all adult child free environment. But anyway, hey, say hello. <laughs> She's been digging in the snow. Hey, girl. So yeah, um, servers do come out here and, you know, they will bring you a drink. It's kind of late. I really, I don't want to drink early. I don't want to drink late. So <laughs> I don't like to drink at happy hour. I only drink like after seven, like from seven to like nine thirty. So if it's not during those hours, forget it. Cause it'll interrupt with my sleep. But yeah, I mean, it's probably about 18 degrees outside and there's a lot of steam coming up from this hot tub <laughs> there's another hot tub over here I'm let me show you now that is a, a swimming pool and straight back there where the lights are on the trees there is another hot tub Yesterday I swam in the swimming pool, but it was a little bit um, cool. It wasn't. It was like one or two degrees, too cool to comfortably swim in. 
So I think it really needs to be 86 degrees when it's this cold outside um, because there was a lot of wind yesterday and the wind like you know was un uncomfortable on your face and on your arms once you exposed yourself above the water so anyway oh the, the purpose of this video <laughs> is to encourage encourage businesses to to offer child free and all adult amenities um the unfortunate thing that child free people are up against is that somebody just came out of his room over there and startled my dog Anyway, sorry about that interruption on my video, but the, the thing that's really discouraging for a lot of child-free people, um, if they have limited resources, and, you know, I have a lot of child-free friends on Facebook, they're singles, and they live in apartments where they have to, you know, their, lim their funds are limited, their resources are limited, and they are stuck in environments with families. Um, they're, they're stuck in housing with families and children and babies. And that's really discouraging. One way to avoid families and children is to go to places that are more expensive, to stay at hotels that are more expensive and that is out of many people's reach most people's reach and you know it seems like natalism wins out because natalists are everywhere and they ruin everywhere for the rest of us um and the rest of us could be child free um they could be empty nesters. They could be senior citizens. But um, natalists with children take over. And they um, annoy. They're very annoying. They're not quiet. Um, it's not pleasant to be around, you know, families that don't respect other people. And I find that most families don't respect other people and most parents um, do not monitor their children's behavior um, you know when I, whenever I see children in public acting acting out or running and running in restaurants or running you know between senior citizens um, in rest in stores you know I think to myself why aren't their parents disciplining them and why don't they realize that there's other people in this world and that they are not in their living room when they are in public they are not in their living room and um you know yeah when you when you're in a pub in the public you put on your public face and you know you respect other people and I mean, it's sad to say that most, a lot of millennials, a lot of parents, and a lot of children of baby boomers did not raise their children with the same standards that I was raised with. So, baby boomers, it seems like my glasses are fogging up. It seems like baby boomers did a terrible job. Um, on raising their children and there's a there's a sorry lot out there um, but if you're a parent and you're watching this and you're in public just realize that you are not in your living room you can do whatever you want in your own living room but when you are in public you are bound 
by decency to respect other people. Thank you for watching my video and um, please subscribe if you already haven't.